Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so the video that I'm gonna or the issue that I'm gonna talk about is something which was very new to me. Uh, so a customer said that they want to disable a couple of features. Like over here, we uh, if we go if we come to any document library, we have a couple of features, right? We have sync feature and we have uh, add to document library feature and such features. And now what customer wanted was that whenever anyone accesses few document libraries or few documents, they should not be able to click on sync or they should not have, uh, uh, they should not have add to shortcut to OneDrive, these kind of features unavailable. I already wrote an article that uh, if you want to disable sync, how you can do that, but uh, there was no specific way so if you, if you if you have an issue which is disabling sync uh, for a particular library or for all the libraries in the SharePoint site, you can always use this article. Uh, it's it's I have given detailed steps on how you can do that. Okay, and uh, but if you want to know how you can uh, disable other buttons, like for example, we have add to short add shortcut to OneDrive button, edit in grid view. They should not be able to edit in grid view. You want to disable. Uh, Quinn uh, pin to quick access button. You want to disable the new button itself. You want to do that. Yeah, you want to disable the upload button. Now, all these buttons on the top on a list or a library you want to modify, you can do that. That should not be a problem. Uh, but you will have to perform that action on each and every list and libraries. Now, how do we do about that? I've explained that in an article. Uh, this is the article which you can refer uh, if you have any issues, or you can also look at the video uh, where I'm gonna explain this to you. So, <clears throat> let's say I want to disable this new upload and also this add new, uh, add shortcut to OneDrive. Now, for that, what you need to do is you need to first access that particular document library or list wherever you want this modification, wherever you want this particular change, and then select this all documents option and then select format current view. Okay. <clears throat> I repeat the option is format current view. And when you scroll down, uh, you will see this list and gallery, select the list layout. And at the bottom, you will see advanced mode. Okay, select this advanced mode option. There you will see some code over here. Okay, this 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 is nothing. You can you can always delete this code. This is this will automatically come back. Okay, don't worry about this code. And then over there, you need to paste this piece of small code. Okay, so the piece of code says. Uh, that command bar property, the commands is new and uh, uh, the value is hide and hide should be true. Now when I've done this, okay. Okay, I don't know why I'm getting one error message with this. Yeah, okay, there was one extra code that was needed. I'll update the, I'll update my uh, code over there so that you do not get this error message uh, again. So, and uh, now if you are able to see the new button is there, I click on preview. And there we go. The new button is now hidden. You cannot see that new button. Similarly, if you want to hide add shortcut to OneDrive, it is not the same option. Okay. You need to be very careful. Even if you type in add shortcut to OneDrive or you type in the exact same way, it's not going to work it's not going to work because the key is separate for each of these. Okay. How do you know the key for that on this particular site? And in the description of this video, I have mentioned the key. What, which key is that you need to use? Okay. 
So for shortcut, the key is add shortcut. This is the key for add shortcut. Now, if you use this add shortcut key and you try to do it true now, there you go. See, it's hidden. As simple as that, plain and as simple as that. Now, if you want to edit, edit in grid view, if you want to hide this button, uh, we come back to the article. Uh, edit, edit in grid view. Okay. Uh, see, you can also change things on, onto it, right? For example, in this edit in grid view, we are updating the text and we are updating the icon of that. So that also we can do. So for example, I, I copy this particular JSON, the whole JSON. And what it's doing is three things. I'm hiding the new button. I am changing the text of edit in grid view to edit table. And uh, then I'm also doing uh, removing the share icon. I'm also removing the share icon. Okay. So we have the share icon somewhere. Uh, okay. I'll just paste this for now. Okay. Done. And I come to the bottom of it. I select preview. Okay. Now my add to shortcut has come back but the new button is hidden and uh, if you see this quick edit has now changed icon it is a different icon altogether and uh, the the text has changed to quick edit uh, previously uh, i can yeah the name of the icon is edit table and uh, quick edit is a text that it got Previously, this name was edit in grid view. Okay, so that's how it is. And it has removed the share icon uh, somewhere. Uh, share this list icon. I don't remember where I have that option, but yeah, I had an option somewhere. Let me just remove this key and see if I can, I can show that to you once. Uh, preview. Yeah, this is not here. I think it is a list view thing. I'm not able to see the share icon over here. So, but if I hit save and uh, done, I close this and I hit refresh on this page. Done, my changes are done. I have now um, uh, removed the new, new button over there and also edited the quick edit button on this particular page. Okay. Uh, let me look at the list if I can try to replicate this on the list, the share icon. Mm. So this is a list. See the share icon. Okay, so we'll, we'll try the same thing on this particular uh, view. So, edit format view, I go to the bottom, advanced mode, I delete whatever is there, I copy this text, the code over here, and I paste it. Done, and done. Okay, see, the icon that was there is, is now hidden, there is no icon over there, quick edit got, and new item also got. Disabled. So that's a very basic view of how you can do that. Uh, but if you, if you have a, there are a lot of more options, right? If you, if you look at, if you live below, there are a lot of options that you can use. You can add your own item as well. Like you want to add your own button. That also something which you can do. You can change the position on where the new should be, where the other I, uh, option should be. So we have a couple of options over there. So have a look at it. Feel free to explore the options which are here and uh, if you have any queries any concerns or if you want to understand more about it let me know i'll be more than happy to uh, help you with this particular issue or with this particular customization and uh, uh, do like share and subscribe my videos for more such videos have a great day ahead take care bye